my bad, <clears throat> my bad, Virgo. Y'all, my last one. Song that came across was uh the song from Anastasia. It's uh Anastasia, Anastasia, whichever one you want to call it or something like that. That was weird. What is going on? Why is my TV doing that? It's a um. Little funky motherfuckers. It's a hello. Wait a minute, I'm trying to cut the TV back on. Cut the sounds back on. Smooth sounds. Radio and blues coming to you loud. All right. Okay. Anywho, <clears throat> some of y'all, you could be. Uh, how can I say this? The song that came across was Anastasia, to where um, it was the scene specifically when they was on the train and they was going to go. They was trying something to get some state of money so i don't know if that's like important or something like that, that was well with travel where you go on or where you are that was well but you got to look at it that was well these people were trying to scheme and scam because they were trying to trick the queen into believing that this child was there so they can get some money so i don't know if that's important or prevalent but the song that was part that was coming around there's some rumors in st petersburg so i don't know what the fuck that's at does that make sense is that philadelphia or some shit like that that was well y'all from philly y'all from philly St. Petersburg. They said Florida. They got it in Florida, though, as well. What? No. This Russia. All right. Russia, Moscow. That was it. All right. Okay. She was in Russia. But they say they got a St. Petersburg in Florida, too. I thought it was in Philadelphia because it sound like it. Does it make sense? Look, I th it sound like it, though, but it's a Russia. Um. Russia and Florida, so I guess that's where y'all from, Florida, Russia, or where y'all going, or where you traveling, or something like that, that was weird, don't know, I don't know, some of y'all may be going on a travel, or you was on a travel, or you was on a flight, or something like that, that was weird, because we got manifestation, and we also got liberation, I don't know if this got something to do with green, green visa card, or travel expenses, or somebody could be coming back home, or something like that, that was well. <clears throat> I don't know. Like, it could be that that was weird because we also got grief and manifestation. Ah, oh, shit. So, if you getting out of a tough situation, though, as well, somebody's sad about that. Like, does that make sense? Because when you really think about it, though, as well, I could see, like, this may be somebody that may have been rolling with you at this state in time if you've been scheming and scamming. And if you're getting out of a tough time, somebody may be mad or something because when you think about the movie Anastasia, at that part, they were trying to... Um, they was trying to play the queen and to saying that the child was there, but she was related to them. Like, doesn't make she end up being related to these people in the end. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like some of y'all, whoever these people, they end up getting sad when they was like, oh, it's just a joke. It's just a prank. And she was like, no. So it was like subconscious memory because her memory had ended up being like suppressed or wiped or whatever the fuck it is that was well. Don't know. <clears throat> but it was due to suppressed trauma because she had ended up hitting her head or something like that that was well. But when she ended up getting around somebody, it triggered all her memorabilia. Don't know what that means for one of y'all, though, as well. Like, y'all reading is just a little different, but I don't know. If somebody's, like, traveling with you or with you, if somebody been scheming, scamming, conniving, up to no good or something like that, though, as well, they may be mad about the seasons changing for you because I'm hearing somebody going to go see the tide take the water. Damn. Who y'all doing with some old folks? Some old folks say shit like this. Gonna see the tide take the water. Her phone. Come on, you too. No, Jesus came over. Just gonna say, "Come on, Jesus came over." Come on. <laughs> well, that's the thing I named my TV. Jesus came over. Some of y'all ears been ringing. Some of y'all ears been ringing because baby, the else has been trying to get in contact with you, whoever this is. Pause, y'all. I know you probably like, girl, we ain't no lie. I'll calm down. Girl, we just getting back into the swing of things. Swing of things. Ooh, yes, I forgot about you. Good Lord, I did. 
Mm, to my life, like you've been forgetting about us a lot. I can see somebody coming back with that rebuttal, saying something sassy and fucking condescending. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I really can't. All right. Okay. Um. Oh look, we almost there. Pause. Do 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 do. Okay. Whoever this is, this sees a friend or this sees a person or something like that that was with, you may be going to go see the side tide take the water. But for some of y'all, this is a situation to where um, this this may relate to their reading, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Virgo, it's your mess, yes. Hold up, it's you. It's you. Or you may be dealing with somebody. It's you where, um, where I had this download where you can see. Where is it? Up top. Can you see it? It's October 1st. October 1st about somebody where they was in a water. And I was going to say Oshun. Oshun was bringing a water forth in man. So it's kind of like if somebody was trying to see the tide take the water or something like that, that was weird, which is you, where you're being overthrown by your, your emotions or going through particular situations, dealing with strife, grief, or also emotional sorrow. Oshun bringing that shit back. Some of y'all do with somebody who liked that, that was weird. And I don't have to be Oshun. This is Nana, Nana Bukalu. Nana, whoever this is, I guess. Somebody that working at water to bring your head back. That's all I know. So say from somebody tried to, let's just say from somebody wanted to leave USC or something like that, though, was well, the sea was like, no. Like, does it make sense? Right? <clears throat> Story of Jonah. Some of y'all got that going on. Hold up. Uh, hold up. Yes, it's got something to do with your origin story or something like that, though, as well. Like, this you. Like, some of y'all, hold up. What y'all got going on, Virgo? Some of y'all dealing with a messy-ass Virgo, the way I said in that reading, where I read that back, though, as well. But this got something to do with, like, your etymology of who you are, where you come from, though, as well. This may got something to do with spirit babies. I also got something to do with some form of adoption or something like that, though, as well. Some of y'all could have had a water birth or some shit like that, though, as well. I had a baby on water or something like that, though, as well. This got something to do with Maui Lisa. I tell you, I seen her on the download in the beginning of the year, though, as well, where she was telling me about honing in on my masculine and feminine energy, where she came to me and told me about a friend that's a snake, like, doesn't make sense, though, as well, a friend that was trying to block my path or something like that, though, as well. So, some of y'all may got this going on, though, as well, because I'm hearing a shapeshifter. So, I don't know, not like a shapeshifter, but there's somebody that fluctuates in their energy well. So, this could be somebody that you think is gay, but they're straight, or you think this person is butch. But they're feminine. Like, does that make sense? So some of y'all may be a little confused about people and places and things, though, as well. Because I'm hearing there's a shakeup and there's also a lesson that's being taught to you at this date and time, though, as well. This could be an elder that's coming to somebody, though, as well. Or some of y'all have an elder that is not fun of somebody at this date and time, though, as well. Because it's about the duality. Like, does that make sense? Somebody doesn't know how to accept the two. So let's just say, for instance, like, some of y'all, you dealing with somebody that's two-faced. I'm just going to be honest. Like, somebody has two-faced or something like that though as well so this got something to do with like Arisha workings and stuff like that though as well like some of y'all dealing with somebody like who is a homophobic lit licking queen right does that make sense though as well so you may be doing somebody that's homophobic but they eat pussy make it make sense and then two you dealing with somebody that um it's got something to do with birth and motherhood or something like that, though, as well. Born with extra body parts or something like that, though, as well. So you may feel like that you got certain deformities or something like that, though, at the same time, though, as well. But this is, like, connected towards something greater than you. So you probably need to do, like, some ancestor work or talk to a spiritist, a spiritualist or something like that, though, as well. Because whatever you got going on, it connects towards your kids. It connects towards your motherhood. It's connected towards... uh specific colors that you're attracted to or uh things that shows up in your life though as well so you can change your life around though as well and also your relationship with family so you may have a riffraff going on between you and family members because somebody feel like you can't change so they expect you to be consistent or always the same or something like that though as well because this got something to do with a theology major or somebody with theologists or something like that though so it's like if you're going forward with any type of spiritual workings you probably need to do the back end before you just decide to say you know what i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna start practicing voodoo you probably need to research it or learn the origin or um Start studying the gods or something. Not studying the gods so you can go teach the story. No, to see what 
more works with you. So when your path like open up or something like that, though, as well at this date and time, though, as well. Ugh. So that's why I said, yeah, some of y'all get ready because some of y'all, I'm here to get ready for your blessing, but some of y'all get ready for some kids. Jesus, why does that make sense? So this was you in the reading why I said some of y'all got five more kids, y'all got the birth. It was somebody that came across my dream state, so I guess just coming out on Virgo or something like that. I said somebody had five more kids, they had the birth. Yikes. Well, does that make sense? Good luck with that. All right, we're going to speed past that. Um, that's it. No, it doesn't make sense. That's it. Some of y'all may got a relationship with the grandmother, and the grandmother doesn't have a relationship with the mother. So, this is where you probably, like, it's kind of like safe as hold up. The grandmom and the mama don't get along. But whoever this is, the you may have a better relationship with either or. Somebody doesn't have the full story, so they probably need to reach out to somebody else. So let's just say, for you a child, and let's just say you got a better relationship with the grand with the uh, with the mother, but you don't like the grandmama because of what your mama told you, and there's certain things that you're struggling with. You probably got to go talk to the grandma, or flip the roles. The grandmama raised you. You don't have a great relationship with your mother. It's now time for you to go talk to your mother to get the other side of the story. Like it's something with some inner child healing that's going on, so it can bring some state of balance between you and your relationships. And this may have played out with you being the man in a relationship and a woman so this could be somebody that was weird this may have played out of somebody's sexuality and stuff like that that was weird to where somebody has been too fluid when it comes down to like love and certain things and people that is who they have chose to date so this is somebody easily being to take advantage of that was well but also being a predecessor too mm -hmm. some of y'all had a little stint or a little stun with prostitution mm-hmm some of y'all did. Some of y'all, y'all went through money blocks, financial blocks, and stuff like that. That was where I told you that scamming shit is over. Bam! There she go. Oh, shoot. I told you that scamming shit over. Seasons, giving and receiving, and fearless love. I'm telling you, that scamming shit over. I'm telling you, with that 10, baby, Saturn. Saturnian, with that 7 coming up right behind that. Saturnian, baby, you gonna do some shit when it comes down to your relationships. Just maybe you just dating lovers, like cons are giving to certain people, but it ain't been no equal balance between you and someone else though as well. And it has to be like an equal, like an equilibrium being on the table. Not like, well, I want a nigga with some money and I want a nigga who got this and all this different type of stuff. Now, like you can make six figures, but you can make a million, but your partner can make a hundred thousand. Like, doesn't make sense. It's not the financial indifference, it's the money that it is. You never receive, sweetie. Look, we got live out loud, uh, level up. We also got harvest, and we also got pleasure. Some of y'all, you're going to recognize that extra activities has been holding you back from being able to operate in your full existence. Now, for others, if you do make a little piece of change, you can have certain women or men that have tried to hold you back. Like, you may be in relationships to where you kind of like, nah, I just want to fuck. Like, that's it. More folks like, no, I want you to stay. you like, I don't want to stay. Some of y'all have been with commitments and connections and stuff like that, though, as well, that's been trying to get the best of you. I'm here giving you the best that I got, right? So this is people that think that uh, you continue supposed to keep giving and giving and giving and giving and giving, but with no reward on the table, though, as well. That's why I said, this this level up. This may be somebody, well, I know you stole that money. You need to give me some, I'm going to snitch on you. Like, some of y'all used to dealing with people like that, though, as well, that it ain't working no more at this same time. This has limited you. So, some of y'all have went through a whole bunch of karma experience, a whole lot of blowbacks, where you even blocked your own path or something like that, though, as well. Some of y'all, this somebody that's being blocked from um, assessing higher knowledge. Because whoever this is that's been trying to assess higher knowledge, they've been using it through sacral, chakra, manipulation, and stuff like that, though, as well. So, this could be somebody trying to access you through sex or whatever sex manifestation rituals so that they could come in your energy field your golden energy so that they can obtain some state of knowledge but they're being blocked from having access to this over because this somebody that was holding you down like literally not holding you down like i'm a fuck you know this person was holding you down like you weren't able to move forward or literally ascend or something like that though as well this could be somebody that has tried to kill you a multitude of times like i'm just gonna be honest or some of y'all have been a near-death experience because we got one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this might be somebody that put like over 16, 7 attempts on your life. But we also got shame or death rituals. Rage. Boy. Kristen Aiden. 
No, he didn't. He ain't no four cakes. Yes, it is. It was number one left. Tristan ate all them cakes up with his greedy ass. He ate all them cakes up. Tristan ate all them cakes up. He was number one cake left. Dude, I had four. Do it look like I'm gonna get smoke up? When you get some stamp? Right. You know, getting back on subject, there's somebody that comes to be accessing your energy at the same time, though, as well, so they can obtain. There's somebody that, um, there's somebody that's been accessing your energy so they can obtain some form of information or something like that though as well. And whoever this person is, I'm telling you, like they have been blocked, been blocked from your energy because you got shame, rage, you also got soul forgiveness, and you also got cosmic power. Like this amount that was causing like some type of psychological split or something in you though as well. So again, it goes back to acting too docile and then at a state in time where you needed to react. Like this somebody that kept fucking with you spiritually or something like that though as well. Like this may be a person that you genuinely don't like like i'm just gonna be honest like there's a person that you don't like like you really wish them ill will like you want to fight this person or something like that as well like you don't like this person because with this rage and also soul forgiveness when you find out what this person been doing to you it's gonna piss you off because some of y'all you get all your energy back so i don't know if this is rituals or cord cuttings or people just releasing the energy or something like that as well because this somebody that had been trying to keep you split split i'm talking about like this person they was trying to keep you split like in a feminine energy don't get me wrong like this is somebody that may got like you know how like you see women to where like uh they got high cheekbones or certain features and stuff like that though as well to where people may have assumed you to be like a a bitch or some shit like that though as well or like you a hoe just by how you hold your face like i don't like that hoe like that bitch get on my nerves no they didn't have you right and then you jump in your master energy at this same time like you was too much but at the same time though there's somebody that either way on opposite page like they didn't want you to be able to make cognitive decisions for yourself so this may be somebody who you just don't like i'm just gonna be honest. you do not like this person like it's nothing that this person can say to make you like them because this is an individual that was playing with big boy spell work and they was putting blockages in your path like i'm talking about just somebody that was playing with you big time look we got worthiness. We also got wounded healer. And we also got scarcity. Like, this could be a person that tried to run your money away. Like, you had to do, like, some financial healing, root chakra healing and stuff like that, though, as well. Um, like, you just had to do a lot with finances and stuff like that, though, as well. Because this is a person that was trying to keep you broke. Like, this could have been somebody with this word and this energy. This is somebody that wanted to keep you begging in this bitch. I'm just going to be honest. Like, this is a sick bitch. Like, this is somebody that wanted you to just keep begging at this same time, though, as well. And whoever this is that wants you to keep begging or something like that, though, as well. That's why you want to attack their ass. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Because this is somebody that was playing with you with your money. And it's kind of like whoever this is. Like, if you can see, like, otherworldly shit, whoever this is, you you see whatever entity or deity or whatever the fuck this thing worked with or something like that, though, as well. So you just want to attack this person. Like, I'm telling you, like, whoever is it, you see them exactly for who they are. Like, this may be somebody that may be sneaky like a cat, but I'm hearing that like a dog. Like, whoever is it, like a dog ass nigga and a dog ass bitch. Like, this is a person you may have thought they were sneaky, but mm, like, you may have didn't see them exactly for who they is. You may be getting released from some state of self restraint or financial restraint, so money may be coming in so you can get out of a fucked up challenging time because who got brazen, sacred lust, and shine. This could be just an old cycle of somebody was selling pussy and baby, somebody wants you to keep selling pussy. I'm just gonna be honest. If you had to fuck for it or something like that, though, as well, this somebody that wanted to keep you on a string and keep you like having sex with them. If you a dude, flip the roles. If this somebody where they kept having sex with you so you could financially provide for them or something like that though as well but i'm hearing this somebody that comes want you to feel sorry for them so you may be getting sick and tired of that some of y'all you coming out of that like this somebody that's been lying to themselves like this may be somebody that where like they may have felt like they was ugly or they didn't feel like they were pretty or something like that though as well and this somebody like i'm feeling myself so somebody maybe start looking at themselves a little different i'm saying it's like this somebody where they was literally trying to pull your energy apart. Like, it's showing me, like, two golden rings and that two of cups and that angel dick, right? Where it's like the, I forgot what angel that is specifically and what is it called from a higher plane. Somebody been trying to rip that shit apart. You know how, like, they got them little clinks, them little, them little silver things, and you try to, like, pull them apart. This somebody's been constantly trying to pull this shit apart. 
again, like this is a person that had you conflicted, discombobulated, and stuff like that. Those were also weighed down. Like, I'm just gonna be honest. This look, we got joy, etheric cores, truth, and we also got the betrayal. I'm saying this is a person that like this shit. That's why you want to fight this motherfucker. Whoever that is, because they think it's funny. I'm telling you, that's why you that's why you want to fight this person, right? For real. Because you think that they you want to fight them because they think that it's funny what they did to you. Like this is somebody that literally thinks it's funny. Like I'm just gonna be honest. Like they really do. Like this is sad. Like, look, we got masks, like they cover up who they are. Like, they like to, these are people may act like they fuck with you, but they ain't fuck with you. These people that act like you was, they saying that, like, in their mind, they felt like you were better than them, right? So, at this set, because you see, you see how, like, these cars set up around them, where they sit in the front, these people behind them. These people thought that you was better than them, but they was around you only because at the same time, though, as well, because... They was getting some state of coveting or some state of protecting or you was going to bat for them or riding for them or something like that though as well. When you find out that all these people betrayed you at this same time though as well, this where shit gonna hit the fan at this same time because them people that they... Some of y'all, it's a Virgo that's in this shit too because it's saying them people that was with these people, they betrayed them and this person, they coveted them. For others on the flip side though as well, you were hanging around people that was where they thought this was funny to fucking betray you at this same time though as well because they felt like you were better than them. That doesn't make sense. Like, they felt like this. So they felt like you got a superiority, superiority complex though as well. You know this. Intuition, like you know this. So that's why they did this at this same time. But they little Bible, they little spell work, and all that other good bullshit. But they little book on their lap. Like, you can't see it. You pull up, you can't see it. But they hide. Look, back here, they be doing divination, spell work, all the different type of shit. That was where they hide. They cloak themselves and stuff like that. That was where they cloak what it is that they use at this point in time. They do. They do. I'm saying they really do. This people that's been pulling on your... Solar plex and your crown. Your crown, the one that's purple, ain't it? Your solar plex and your sacral chakra. That's the two things that them motherfuckers been pulling on. This shit leading to chaos. Does it make sense? So these are people that act like they strong at the same time, but they really dealing with a whole bunch of problems behind the bullshit that it is that they did to you. So this may be people that may be mad and stuff like that, though, as well. I'm telling you, like, these people, I'm telling you, like, they work so hard. I'm telling you, like, if they tried to separate these golden rings, bitch, you got them rings. And you said, don't worry about it. I'm a katana. Fight. Like, does that make sense? So this somebody tried to separate your rings. Like, you hear me say, you're golden. Like, it's like an etheric link or something that connects you to a spirit room. Whatever it is, when you got onto that higher plane, Whatever the fuck it is that they was on, you was like, oh, say less. Like some of y'all was like, this is my time to shine. And so these are people that's literally been doing chaos magic on you for money. That's how they get paid. They keep up chaos to block your path. They get paid. Somebody pays people to put chaos and blockages in your life, in your path, to make you feel like you are not good enough, to where you can't able to be able to move forward. Uh, inability to be able to think, inability to be able to grow at this same time. They've been doing this. They get paid for this. Somebody pay these people to give you hell. But just keep you high, keep you drunk, keep you inebriated, keep you fucked off, inability to be able to focus, got you late for work, late for church, late for every goddamn thing, late for anything, any meetings, showing up to spiritual, like they do this, like these are people, they did this on purpose with purpose. They did this. Some of y'all, this may be some of your family members because we got divine lineage, creativity, and we also got an awakening. They did this. Some of y'all, this got something to do with your family members. Like, this them. Like, when it comes down to they don't want you to know what they've been doing. I'm telling you, like, they don't want you to know what they've been doing or who's who's the mama, who's the daddy. When it comes down to a kid or something like that, though, as well. So, you may have been raised. Some of y'all may find out you got a kid. Right? So these people, they want you to know the truth. We got feeling safe. We also got radical rebirth. We also got celestial alignment. We also got alchemy. We also got manifestation. These are people, I'm thinking like, only thing they care about is themselves. 
I'm sorry, Virgo. Your reading is A's. But we also got secrets revealed, speak up, and we also got surrender. It's not A's, but it's like a, a dropping of my stomach because there is a realization that comes forward. So you may be in an energy where you may be fighting back and also speaking up and putting them on blast equally as well because it's kind of like you may have been dealing with like some petty betty and some gossip queens or people that always like to speak before you or come before you and talk. And so it's kind of like, it's like whoever this is, when they come in the room, they energy introduce them, they sell. So you may have been dealing with people though as well that somebody been teaching you this, that it comes out like if I look a certain way, I talk a certain way, that this going to come to me and I don't have to do this at the same time that was right. And you're going to find out somebody just basically been sending you out. This keeping you in a lack energy to where it's like, um, you know, all you got to do is this, you do the little spell where you do this and you do this and you do this and then this going to do this. You're going to recognize like, bitch, you've been playing for this whole entire time. I was supposed to put action behind this. I was supposed to put work behind this. For others on the flip side, though, as well, where you're called to speak up, this you, where it's like, this got something with your credibility. This is you. Like, does it make sense, though, as well? Like, your credibility was on the line, and so you had to stand up and actually speak up for yourself at this point in time, because there was somebody that, oh, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Now, now, you know what? Now, you know what? It's okay. You ain't got to respond. What you mean? Like, like, this somebody that I would want you to shut the fuck up. What you mean? You don't want me to say nothing? Like, it's about, nah, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. I'm telling you, shit going on, shit popping out. You like, nah, don't say nothing. Don't say, don't say nothing. Like, this is my dad. Don't want you to say nothing. But this is drama and chaos. Look. If you wanted to repair your relationship, this is my dad. Don't, nah, don't, nah, they, don't say nothing. That is them. That's the teachings that they was teaching you. It's like, it's it's giving me the story of, like, somebody being cheated on, and they don't know that they being cheated on, or somebody else fucking on somebody else, though, as well, and jokes on you, and nobody don't want nobody to say nothing, though, as well. So you like, oh, I like this person, da 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 I think they so cute, or something like that, though, as well. Everybody, like, <laughs> everybody sitting around joking. They think it's funny, because they all sleeping with this individual. Does that make sense, though, as well? Like, it's like jokes on you. Like, it's something like this Virgo. It's like jokes on you. They sleeping with this person. They lying on this person or something like that. That was with, or they have slept with this person. It's like jokes on you. Like, they're lying. Like, they playing on your vulnerabilities or something like that. That was with. Like, they keeping up shit. Look, because we also got Six of Swords, the Invocation, Six of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So, I said that somebody lies coming back to beat them in the ass, and everybody's wondering, like, What's going on? Knight of Cups is constantly lying, serving up shit, block creativity. This could have been somebody that constantly been doing this. This could be somebody that were like, we just going to be honest. Like, somebody can't even think because if this somebody been constantly doing this to you on every ritual or the time of the moon, this somebody that can't write. They can't focus or something like their speech is thrown off when it comes down to communicating because of the things that they were doing to you over and over and over again. For others on the Something that they said or something that they engaged in is now coming forward because people want to know. Somebody could accuse you of murder. I'm saying somebody could accuse you of murder. And people like, it's coming up. Like, does that make sense of as well? I don't know if you're going to court for that shit. Or it's just a conversation that's coming up. Yeah, it's just a conversation that's coming up at the same time. Somebody may be calling you a sex worker saying you sold your soul to the devil. Like, does it make sense though as well? Like, girl, somebody is literally on it. Does it make sense though as well? Like, somebody is on it. Look, page of pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody saying something about somebody though as well. The shit that they participated in. I'm hearing some orgy, fuck fest, or some sexual ritual that they did to get a job or maintain some state of financial stability. This could be back in the day to where, like, somebody fucked their way to the top. Oh, that's how they got their job because they were sleeping with so and so, so and so. Ain't. Hey, the fuck? Did I blow your candle out? No. So, again. Tell me how you did. Sorry. Like, you did blow somebody's candle out. For others, you didn't. You lied about this. Like, does that make sense? You lied about blowing somebody's candle out. For, for others, and it's coming out, all the shit that you lied about in the past. Yeah, it's like you can't escape the lies, whoever this is. It's kind of like you can't escape the lies at this point in time. It's like everything is coming out though as well. This may be somebody that was obsessed with receiving money with lying to you or lying on you and everything it is that they did. It's coming out. Like, it's all coming out. Like, does it make sense? Like, it's leading 
a trail of chaos at this date and time, though, as well. This could have been somebody that set you up so you can die in the house fire. We're just going to put that on the table because I don't know why I feel like there is a man that is walking out this fire. Don't it? I feel like there is a man that's coming out of that fire. They're saying this girl is on fire. I don't know. So somebody may have set you up. Might have. Look, we also got the High Priestess in reverse. We also got Ten of Swords, the Justice card, and then we also got the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So, yeah, we're going to hurry up and just wrap y'all reading up. Because with the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords being in reverse and the Two of Cups, somebody who you was once cool with, you're going to recognize that you they not your friend. They've been an enemy on some op shit though as well. This somebody that knew something that was going on. This kind of like if something trauma filled here happened to you and you told somebody to go down to the courts and testify. Like you needed this person to show up. This person didn't testify for you. They didn't. This is a person that reneged on the offer or something like that that was well. They didn't say nothing. So they knew what was going on. This could have been a deal that somebody was trying to get or solidify or they wanted you basically gone. This person is not your friend at the same time. That was what they did. Like this person, they fucked you. Whoever this is at this same time. And so when you went to the legal, you like, okay, we finna go down here and we finna go forward with this and we're gonna present all this evidence and we got us a massive lawsuit or something like that. Those where some of y'all you weren't doing it for the money. Some of y'all you wanted the the legal system to do something about an issue, right? No. This somebody that was like, oh no. I ain't going to do this. And they bagged out at the same time, though, as well. They got paid, and they bagged out, and they didn't go forward. And you're going to find this out. So some of y'all may be trying to get revenge on y'all. I'm just going to give me just a little bit of revenge with that Ten of Swords and a Justice card. Oh, somebody definitely get revenge on one of their friends or get revenge on somebody that you was in a relationship with because they played you. They was in a part of, like, they was a part of, like, setting you up with ten of wands and reverse the magician and also the knight of swords there was a reason why you ended up getting sick uh this is my that was going around spreading your information when it comes connected towards your health records and stuff like that though as well uh somebody could have been saying you was a man or something like that though as well oh baby somebody was going real low they was getting real aggressive with these lies somebody was like woo woo like doesn't make sense this is could have been somebody that Act like they had your back, but they really was participating in the rituals to go up against you. I'm just going to be honest. Sending off antagonistic experiences, draining you of your energy, the reason why people been talking to you crazy, coming out the neck sideways. This may be the motherfucker that was literally paying people to keep you in chaos. We're just going to put that on the table. Just gonna keep it on the cable. Look, nine of pentacles. We also got the page of wands and the six of pentacles. Somebody being obsessed with greed that they think this is a great idea. So that negativity. Out. Wait a minute. That negativity that somebody's into or something like because it's kind of, I'm telling you, it got something to do with somebody like you, ho. I'm gonna tell you, like somebody like you, they sexually interested in you or something like that though as well or somebody likes you but there is just like jokes on you i'm telling you but it's not jokes on you or something like that though as well not like oh this is funny where you think is that no i'm doing something with malicious intent to be funny to be hurtful towards you and i'm going to receive something off your demise like it's some about that person where they think it's funny and this ain't funny. I'm telling you, like, this is something that ain't funny. Because I'm hearing show no love. Love will get you killed. So, I don't know if this is somebody telling somebody, telling somebody withhold from you. Or this is somebody where they got you out here giving, helping to people who would gladly bite your head off. So, I don't know what that means for you, though, as well. With the King of Pentacles and also the Three of Wands. Some of y'all, this may be, uh, somebody's on a registered sex offender list. Go off. But with the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands... You supposed to be moving. You supposed to be relocating. You supposed to receive some money, but it's been intercepted. This is friend. This false ally. Somebody act like they got your back, and they saying jokes on you. And this could be an ex lover or something like that. That was where it's like jokes on you. This is kind of like that's why I said it's not jokes on you, but this is what they think. Like they think this is funny. And they withholding finances, paperwork, documents. Like, this them, like, they doing this on purpose, with purpose. Look, that's a sign from the universe, right? They doing this on purpose, with purpose. And they think this funny. This may be somebody that we're like, 
you may be thinking you moving in or you finna move into a place. Why this nigga finna show up with another bitch? Like, you got your own apartment, whoever this is. This nigga finna show up to your house with this motherfucker for them to move into your shit. Some of y'all got some shit like that going on. It's like, oh, this my friend. No, I ain't say they could come to my house. Like, this somebody on some bullshit like that that was where it's showing me the grunge tarot, five of pentacles. Like, this person, they, like, this person, I don't know, we finna come stay with you. No, you not. Like, what you want? Like, somebody's withholding what it is that they did, that how they tried to betray you, and somebody's still trying to hold some evidence or some documents. Somebody's like, oh, 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 oh. I hold the power. I just see one of y'all just punching somebody in their motherfucking face. Like, does that make sense? It's like, oh, 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 oh. what do y'all just jaw the shit out of somebody because you like, bitch, all right, okay. Like, I'm telling you, like, I don't know. Whoever just showing me that you punching a dark skin man. Like, does it make sense? Like, they just on some. Like, that though was way of trying to be funny. And then one of y'all just hit his ass. Like, does it, it's just even like one of y'all just punching the shit out of somebody because you kind of like, they thought it was funny. Like, this, I'm telling you, it's a dude. It's like a dark skinned man. And I'm hearing Mr. Grinch, whoever this is. And you just hit the shit out of them. Like, that's all I know because with the sun card, the temperance, and also the page of swords, like, this somebody's been playing in your face. Like, you've been going through unhappiness and shit like that though as well because of this person. Again. Like, this somebody, like, they've been holding you up from your happiness, and they want you to be happy. Like, they want you to just suffer and die. Like, this is person. Oh, my God. Look, King of Cups, the star card, what the hell? I'm telling you, I knew it was an ego maniacal narc in here. Y'all probably need to go watch that reading that I had where I said y'all was dealing with a narcopath. Does that make sense? That was weird. What reading is that, girl? Who had that reading? Baby, somebody was crazy as hell in that reading. Who is this? Uh, a person that don't like you. You say healing from traumatic experiences. Videos. Who is it? Oh, this a trigger warning. That video from a couple days ago. Somebody has been lying and keeping up chaos. No, it was Libra. It said, you may be dealing with a Libra. Or well, you and Libra got the same thing going on. Because it said, dealing with a narcopath, serial narcissist, and an energy vampire that ruined your life. Does that make sense as well? So you and Libra got something coming. Because some of y'all been dealing with somebody that could be a celebrity, don't have to be, or somebody acts like they're affluent, or this is a... A project or something to where it's like uh, humanitarianism, like somebody acts like they care about people and they don't. Like some of y'all, you've been getting goop. I'm hearing hood houses. So you may find out that somebody may got Section A in your name or somebody may have told you that you was approved for Section A and come to find out that you didn't get it. You didn't get it. And some of y'all trying to get these people out the house. Like you have, you didn't get it. Because I'm saying, it's like somebody saying, jokes on you. Like again, and I'm just like, this is ass. And people may not believe you how vile and how vicious this woman is. With the Empress card being in reverse. So we got the lovers, the five of pentacles, and the two of pentacles. Somebody to do anything to maintain financial balance or order. I mean, this may be your mama, your baby mama, or feminine, or if it's a dude, he operate he operates in his feminine energy. I'm telling you. Because we got the universe in reverse, the teacher. Some of y'all, this was a spiritual guide. It's somebody that you went to, an elder, or somebody that you looked up to. This who you got into it with. This somebody who you looked up to. You went to this person for spiritual advice, clarity, cognizance, understanding. This is a person that kept trying to control you and also manipulate you at this day and time. This is a person that kept trying to like exhaust you, drain you, intimidate you, burden you, put you down though as well. Like this somebody that was like some of y'all gonna find out that this was somebody that was teaching people the eye of the drink. Does that make sense though? Was with against you. So using they breath of fire, the tail each to tail, the mobus and the archetype. To where uh before we go, I'm not getting a dick. It's like the mobus. Um it's like the mobus. Look, three of swords. The mobus talks about how 
life comes around full circle and it's like near death experiences to where you get to choose your body. This could have been somebody that was trying to perform a death ritual on you to where like they were trying to strip you of all your power to where you literally would die. Doesn't make sense in this that person, and they just think it's funny, and I don't find it to be funny. So you may find out that when it comes down to the movies, the ability to be able to create yourself, like the tail eats itself, like the infinity sign, where so within, so without. This that person that was trying to fuck up your spiritual genetics, your cognizance, your health, your overall well being. Like it doesn't make sense though as well. So. Eights. Like, this is my devil trying to come here and take him to school. Take him to school. Does that make sense? That was weird. Mm. We'll read this Intuitive Awakening in that deck. And I wanted to grab it too. Come on, Spirit. That's crazy. Do, 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 do. Yep, so you just got good vibes. Spiritualists. What are you? Or if you didn't get good by spiritualists, well, somehow you did get good by spiritualists, somebody that was teaching you false teachings or something like that that was weird. Oh, you can do this and you won't get no karma. We've been doing this and we've been doing this. And you like, are you sure? Like, does it make sense? Whole entire time somebody been playing you. It said Avalon Priestess. Let's see what her story says before we go on. What does it say? Uh, Celtic and Druid traditions. Yep. Seers, visionaries, oracles, prophetess. And I'm hearing also some with the Fey Ram and the Third Eye. Mm. Yeah, I see the ethereal touch of the Avalon Priestess comes as a reminder that you are inherently intuitive being. She whispers soul memories of your inner psychic gifts. Meditation, retreat, and sacred silence are needed to activate your third eye chakra and open up your channels between yourself and spirit. Experience. Your life may be changed to accommodate the intense process of awakening dormant priestess gifts. This applies no matter your gender identification. If you frequently draw this card, it means that your soul carries experiences and priestess ability you're ready to see the worlds beyond the veil once again the unlocking your intuitive energy has a great impact on your life it's a soul rebirth an enormous uh recalibration say of your energy system is at work your third eye has been blocked or damaged for eons for it said for aeons be patient with the healing process if your question is about how to proceed with the situation this car asks you to pause reflect and listen to your inner voice don't take action yet as there are more truth and information that needs to come to the surface it's all somebody had to tell you instead of creating problems meditate every day take a retreat from the world visit sacred sites of the avalon train or work with professional intuitives what you are sensing intuitively about this issue is accurate I safe I safely activate my intuitive gifts. I see sacred truths. So this somebody here though was what I'm saying. Somebody had been lying to you. All somebody had to tell you was ground yourself, regroup. You got the answer within. I told you somebody had been trying to separate you from your masculine and your feminine energy, like it said. Instead of this person playing all these damn mind games, mind hacks, and manipulation with you, though was well. That's all they had to do. But this somebody that was like dragging you along when it came down to your childhood trauma and uh inner child issues your relationship and finances and shit it's kind of like motherfucker this all you had to say really the answer relied on you but you just really went to somebody for a state of a safe space so that they could clarify a lot of things to you and this person they just dragged a lot of shit out that didn't need to be dragged out so it goes back to the beginning there are some rumors in St. Petersburg, so people may have told you about these particular individuals, and your ass didn't listen, and you just went along with it anyway, and so now you just learned the ramifications of your actions, though, as well, but for others, you may be finally getting some state of justice, because this was somebody, again, where you want to literally fight this person every time you see them, because this individual said jokes on you, and they thought it was fucking funny, so I don't know how to tell you with it.